it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is. This is my favorite cut. <laughs> Four minutes into the video and the tone has aggressively changed five times now? And this is on YouTube! This isn't something in the cinema, this is f***ing YouTube! Come on, man! Come on, this is beautiful! Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If we're in the Yes Fairy house, and, well, you guys have to say yes to everything, right. does that mean you're gonna say yes to us doing a TikTok dance? This is Tommy, and you might recognize him from Yes Theory. He's a veteran member of the team alongside being one of their editors. If you watch Yes Theory and their amazing content, then you've seen him edit videos like this. So for him working for Yes Theory for the past couple years, he has done some fantastic work. And this video was one of the ones that blew me away. Quite simply, we're gonna talk about it. First of all, I want you to actually introduce to me what this video is. It's about a Mars halo jump, which was at 25,000 feet. He'd been dreaming about skydiving from the highest point he could his entire life. This video has quite possibly been the best editing I have seen in the past year. That's very sweet of you to say, thanks man. Oh. Like this was me, Cam, Bryce, uh, and Amar. So this wasn't just me. I don't want to take credit for all of it. Quite frankly, I'm already being spoiled by the fact that I get to see the timeline myself. And so let's just simply jump in and talk about it. This has been a very long time coming. Normally, a YouTube video's rule is open really aggressively. The fact that this opens really quiet, making you wait for what he's about to say. What we've been trying to do is not so much the bing bang boom in the beginning, but like, this is a 34 minute video. It's a little long, but like, let it breathe. Even though you opened it with a slow image, you still compensated with this high energy. It's a hook, literally just teasing them to what's gonna happen next. Catering to both contrasts, to both ends of the spectrum, and basically asking permission for the viewers to watch this full video. Is arguably one of the most extreme skydives that I can think of. But one day, I was hit with a big reality check. Amar just got into a car accident. Are you okay, Amar? You all right? I'm, just, I'm, I'm all good. I'm like the most scratch, but the car is, I literally can't leave it. I can imagine how easy it would have been to make this really dramatic, having some dramatic violins come in, look at this traumatic experience he's had. But the fact that you've got this constant dreadful drone, rather than it being emotionally exaggerated, we're actually in the same place Amar was on this Shock. It's his life, and this is not like acting, this is very real. Mm. So it would be weird to like dramatize traumatic thing that happened to him. You kept it grounded. Nothing was the same after that. It's a great shot there. I like that. That was a 50 second slow intro. Now it's changing emotions. As a kid, I was fascinated by the experience of piercing through the skies with one's bare body. In that moment, deciding that one day I want to go up as high as I possibly can and jump. That was such a great cut there. Is, oh my God, is he gonna jump? Cut. Not yet. Not yet, you guys are gonna have to watch a little bit more before we get into the real fun shit. Just more context of how yeah. we get there. Fast forward to 2015, my first ever skydive. Four months into building this YouTube channel. Two things I really like here. We're two minutes into the video and the tone is dramatically changed three times already. It's gone from dread, it's gone to childlike epiphany, nostalgia sort of feeling. We fast forward into this really fun, funky, successful music. You're taking us on this massive roller coaster of a journey, like aggressively far. Kind of the trick of going to black and then starting a new song and then doing that bit and then going to black again. Essentially presenting a whole new video each time because yeah. it's such an aggressive tone change. The yes. one thing I like about here is we've got this nice funky music here and then you guys bring in that new element of the song, that new layer of the song and then you use that music to motivate the sequence. You've got the visuals doing the storytelling, you've got the narration doing the storytelling, but you're using the music to actually progression of the story. My friend Zach put me in touch with the best in the world to help make this happen, the Red Bull Air Force. Ooh, another aggressive tone change. You're just really keeping up that pace. It's like, there is not a moment where you guys have a moment to breathe. It's just keep on going. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. This is my favorite cut. This is it, this is it. Sean, I went for my first ever. Play it again, play it again, play it again, play it again. Play it again. No, no, it's, it's the match cut. I went for my first ever. Come on! Oh, yeah. Come on, it's the match cut. To be fair, that was, that was Cam, that wasn't me. I don't know how to describe it, except just, ooh. Yeah. Just, ooh. Play it again, play it again, play it again. I went for my first ever. Oh. Halo jumps are way less common for civilians since it's over double the height of a regular skydive. The tone has changed again. Four minutes into the video and the tone has aggressively changed 
five times now? There wasn't like one song to... Yeah, and you could have so easily done that. Each of these moments is very specifically thought out on what emotion do I want to represent here? How do I make that as engaging and as aggressively presented as possible? When I told Sean about this vision, he couldn't help but raise the stakes. He's gonna basically make me into a human missile. <laughs> what a great reveal in terms of storytelling there as well. A cheeky way of the showing rather than telling. He could have said, He's gonna turn me into human missile, but the fact that he's telling his the, the friends much more effective way, and also the fact yeah. that he, the music stopped. He couldn't help but raise the stakes. He's gonna basically make me into a human missile. This is really now setting up that next part of the story here, and it was important that you highlighted that. We're big on like community and like showing that this is like a group of friends to incorporate him into the journey as well. This isn't just a mass story. This is the team story. This is the community that you guys are. Everyone is involved in his journey. Everyone is sharing his emotions, and it really does show the friendship and the camaraderie that you all. You yeah. guys have one of the pillars of yesterday for sure. Absolutely. Three days away from my set date to do my halo, I got into a horrific car crash. I was merging lanes and I got hit from behind. I literally can't believe I'm alive. Miraculously, I survived the accident physically, but psychologically, wow. I'll have a long way to go. There's not really a lot I can say there because it's uh, it's just truly shocking. We've gone through six to seven different aggressive tone changes. What I really like about here is this is a very similar tone change to how the video started. So what you've actually done is you've bookended everything. Right at the end of it, again, it's sandwiched with another dreadful, deep, sad moment. This story is now at a very dark place because of it. All of this is still the intro. Yeah. We're five minutes in and we have had this phenomenal story. I'm pretty sure half the audiences have already been crying their eyes out. It has been five months since my accident and today is the first day I go back. I'm experiencing a very new feeling. You can I'm see just... how reserved he is. He's not he's, being a presenter, he's yeah, being he's him. Like it's really interesting, I love this. And now the big question is, what is Amar's relationship with skydiving? Is he still capable of doing this? Or has his joy of this now been destroyed because of that? How did you think you wanted to represent that emotion? Slowing it down a lot. Been five minutes of adrenaline of like, da, 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 da. now the story starts, like settle in. It's gonna take a while to get back up there. So. Yes, really emphasizes the anxiety that Amar is having, makes us feel the same emotion that he's feeling. And it's really, really expressed in this next sequence. You've made skydiving awful. <laughs> As in, I feel really nervous because of this music choice. And the fact that you don't even hear anything. We don't hear the world. We don't hear the wind. We don't hear the plane. We don't hear any of this. We only hear this overwhelming, anxiety-inducing music. This also shows and represents Amar's relationship where he's so much anxious, he's so in his own mind, he's not even able to process reality outside of it. He can't hear out the outside world because he's in his head right now as well. That's represented by the lack of sound. That was very conscious. We wanted to like keep it long, really draw it out like this is something that's hard to do. Mm -hmm. And they get to like overcome that internal fear that they had. Consciously or unconsciously, the choices that you made with sound helps develop Amar's relationship with his skydiving. That's definitely what we're gonna look into next, like overall. How has, in editing, Amar's relationship been changed over the course of this. I went skydiving every day that week to get my basics back down. After running through our exit routine on the ground, we took it to the sky. Music up. Now we've got this overwhelming sound of the wind. So we ran it again. Like this is not fun. This skydive, and especially also in the context of the story, this moment still sucks. Skydiving is epic footage. You could have just thrown in some epic song, but the fact that you didn't cut the music so all we heard was the wind. Overwhelming us, making us, giving us an anxiety, keeps it ironically grounded. I think a lot of like skydiving videos on YouTube mm. are just like, fuck yeah. Bow, bow, yeah. Bow. Once I like, kind of change the tone and be like, no, this is an actual sport with a lot of risk and like holding on to each other as hard as they can because mm -hmm. they're going 300 miles an hour. Like, there's no way of telling <laughs> what you experience on, on the day is mm -hmm. not what comes out of the camera. And so you've emphasized that. We're finally ready for a test jump from 13,000 feet. Yeah, I love this. What I really like about this moment is, yes, he's gotten a bit more of his confidence back. He feels a bit more compelled that he can pull this off. And you've represented that with, first with the very magical piano music. That's really optimistic. Again, you brought back in the wind sound effects. But this time, it wasn't overwhelming. It was kind of 
quiet. It was soft wind, feeling like he's got a bit more back, back of control here. We feel a little more closer to him because we even hear the parachute sound effect as well. Since we're hearing a lot more of his personal environment, it feels like he's now more in control of the environment rather than it overwhelming him. This moment has represented how he is beginning to settle back into what makes him happy. Yeah, that was intentional just to like kind of bring it back to that dream mess. Back to his dream, which is to do this. Yeah. And to make it more relaxing, like he's getting more confident too. Yeah. We are adding on not replacing workspace or information. I don't feel like you presented your hips at all. No. Hands out, you're looking at the ground instead of maybe looking at the prop. Sean could tell that I was getting pretty overwhelmed. Again, I can imagine in editing, once he had that jump, you got the magical music in, you guys could have very easily gone, all right, he's got it, guys. He's got his confidence back. Good, let's do the final jump. Easy to cut out all of this. There isn't a moment where he's confident for too long. He's confident, he feels good. Nope, come back to reality. Stay grounded because this might be too much for you. It's like one step forward, two steps back. That's exactly what it is, yeah. And I want to be leading this dance, right? Right? So we're just gonna breathe, go nice and slow. Let's go over to the mock-up. We're gonna walk through it real quick together. So here we want to show how fast they were going. Mm -hmm. So this is one skydiver following them both. So yeah. he can keep up with them. And then like halfway through, they just start Spiraling, yeah. Out of frame, wow, yeah. So just to kind of give context as to like a normal skydive, how fast they would go, and then they're gone. They're gone. And also, again, with the framing, was so far away, it even makes him look so vulnerable to the world. He could just get swallowed in. It looks like he's just going to vanish any second. All of this keeps coming back to that first jump that he did. And we, as an audience, are now hoping that first jump that he did, that would have had that anxiety, is going to become irrelevant on his last jump. Yeah. This is honestly more, more detailed than I would have thought about it. <laughs> It, it really awesome. it really yeah. is instinctive like you don't know you mm -hmm. make these decisions until you reflect on it sometimes we don't quite know what we, we don't quite realize what we're doing in the edit we just know instinctively what works and it's sometimes interesting when you look back at a video that you realize there was a little choice that you subconsciously made that you didn't even realize that you did make so skipping ahead a little bit since we're focusing on the skydiving relationship it's no backing out now and now we're coming into what would be the final halo jump that we've all been waiting for of the music. Intimate sound effects, you're hearing the nylon movement, so we're really close to him. It's calming and tense. Built. Yeah, and it's building. Oh. No, it's it's like a superhero. What are you? He's earned the right for this. He has, he's yeah. earned the right for superhero music. Yes. But what's also really important here, this is actually the first and only time we are there alongside his whole journey of going up. This is the first time we've properly seen him suit up. This is the first time we've properly seen him entering the plane. This is the first time that we alongside him and now lifting up towards the sky. We are fully in his journey. We are in, in his shoes. We are in his mind. We're not witnessing Amar making that jump we will also be making that jump with Amar. And that's why going up on that plane journey was so important that we experience it now. Mm. Really great choice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing has just been a yeah. massive ego yeah. ticket, hasn't it? Oh it's been God. great. Go home smiling. Oh, beautiful. Wait, wait, ends my... This is too much fun. This is too much fun. This is beautiful. This is the, the ending bit. Ah, you're really using this music so well, and the wind and the sound, it's quiet, it's intimate. Mm -hmm. We're really in there with him. Ah, oh, wait, beautiful silence. Doof. Overwhelming, it's overwhelming. Silence. What do you mean? Just wait for that piano. <laughs> yeah. It's just. Final music. I was like, <sighs> fuck yeah. This is it. Oh, oh. Sorry. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment. I try not to tear up, and I am. Um, this is. 
Everything about that was just, I have to say this, absolutely perfect. Talk me through all of the choices that you made on how you made this moment work so well. We wanted to show how crazy it was, like, because they are going super fucking fast, they're going 300 miles an hour. And we figured that the best way would be to show how fast they leave. But also, like, the peace and, like, the beauty of it in a way. Because mm -hmm. if you play at, like, normal speed, it's just, like, them shaking. So we wanted like kind of to balance it both and we figured that the best way would be to show how fast they leave and then pause it. This is interesting I'm seeing here. Drone underwater. Mm -hmm. So you use an underwater sound effect to really emphasize that peacefulness. That's really smart. It's kind of like a muffle as opposed to just wind. But the thing that I find the most important here is that this is the only time that we experience the skydiving in slow motion. Oh yeah. The Every... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't realize that. Oh no, I thought it was intentional. No, it probably was. No, it was like subconsciously. Yeah. And for it to be the only time that we experience it in slow motion really emphasizes the success of this moment and how peaceful this moment is. But let's bring it back to that first jump that he did that had all that anxiety inducing moments to it. This is a complete total opposite of that. He's not falling. He's rising because of the framing of the earth. It yeah. really is. He's rising back up to who he the is. Earth is above him. Ah, oh, he's now free. He's free a free child. man. He's a free child. <laughs> That's what he did there. He is a free man. He has achieved it, and you've got that with the music. You got this with the image. It's incredible to watch. We have been there on this journey. We've jumped with him. It's an incredible emotional experience, and this is on YouTube. <laughs> this isn't film. This isn't something in the cinema. This is fucking YouTube. And we give us emotional experiences like this. Come on, come on, man. Come on. This is beautiful. <sighs> like it gets you amped up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just had like that's like one of the most beautiful emotional journeys I've had. I've watched this video nine times now, and wow. that's still one of the most beautiful emotional journeys I've had. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for letting me just nerd out with you on on such a fantastic video. No worries, it's done wonder for my ego. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to fit through the door on your way out after this. Yeah. Oh, Especially yeah. you, as you, you're in the space and you know like what else is on YouTube and. You know, what we're trying to do in mm. a way of like trying to up the game every time. Every single uh, time. You don't settle, you up the game the whole the whole season. Yeah. If, if you guys have not seen any uh, any of the other episodes as Jesper have done for this season, please go watch them. It's been the best content on YouTube so far this year. Probably already the best content on YouTube this year. Do you still want to do that TikTok dance? I have never done a TikTok dance in my life. Never, never I haven't either. <laughs> we could try. <laughs>